this right here is a mixture problem. It says, how many liters of water must be added to 50 liters of a 30% acid solution in order to produce a 20% acid solution? Let's kind of think about this for a second. Let's think of alcohol. All right, so we're gonna think of alcohol. So if you have something that's like 99% alcohol, so that's like almost pure alcohol. Beer is, but maybe it's like 7%. And if you have like something else, like harder liquor, if there's this one drink, it's called Bacardi 151, and it's 151 proof, and to find out the percentage, you divide the proof by two, I believe. It's 75.5%. If I have rum and add a little bit of water, and the universal color for water is blue, if I do that, I can get any percent that I want. I can have 1%. If I, if I fill it up with like all water, then it's gonna be like 1%. That's what they're doing here. It says here, how many liters of water must be added to 50 liters of a 30% acid solution? So, so you're gonna go like this, you have your water going into your acid. So you have your water, 30% acid. X is the liter of, of it will say how many liters of water. So X, X is the liters of water. It's like how much water. So it says how many liters of water must be added to 50 liters? We have 50 liters of acid. So this acid is up at the 50 liter mark. And we need to add this water to this acid to get this new thing, which is watery acid. So you get this new thing right here, which is a combination of both. So it's gonna have, well, I know what I'll do. I'll just go like that. So it'll have your acid and it'll have your water. This is gonna be a 20%, 20% acid solution. So how did it go from a 30% acid solution to a 20% acid solution? You added the water and you basically diluted it. This is the mixture problem chart. For the mixture problems, go ahead and draw three going this way. And we're going to write the word PAT. The P percent, but in, in, put it in decimal. The A is going to stand for amount, amount in original jar or container. And the T is the total in new container and then you mix. So A is gonna be like how much you have in the, in the original containers. It'll be how much you have in here and how much you have in here. And then T, T is how much of that goes into the total. I guess in this example over here, I could dilute this in one of two ways. I could add water to the rum container or I could just put both in a new container. So A would be how much you have in, in the original rum container. It would be this number here. It would also be this number here. It's how much is in the, in the rum and how much is in the water before they're mixed. So it's the pre-mixed amount. So amount in original jar. And that's the, and that's its total in new jar. So you got your water. And what's liquid number two called? Acid. And then this thing right here, this number here, you throw it in there. We're gonna give it to you. And like this though, these numbers, you can add straight down. So these numbers here, you can go, so this is addition, this is addition. All right, so you're gonna addition. Kind of easy to remember because this is times and that's equal. And then you add down and that is your setup for your mixture problem. You don't add the yellow column. You add, you can add the A column and you can add the T column. You cannot add the P column. So I guess you could think of it as never add P to your mix. Percent is percent acid. Do you know what percent acid water is? It's zero percent. So let's go ahead and put that in decimal form, zero. All right, so then, and it says how many liters of water? So what are you gonna put for, what are we gonna put for these amounts of water in this original container? The question is saying how many liters of water? Do we know how many liters of water? It's X. We don't know how much water we gotta add. So let X equal amount of water. So there you got it. zero times that is zero. Now, our acid in our original container. Let's see, how many liters of water must be added to 50 liters of 30% acid? All right, so put in decimal, okay? And then how much in the original acid container? How much like volume, how many liters of acid? 50 liters of a 30%. So in here's the 50 liters and it's made of 30% acid. It's like 50 liters containing 30% alcohol. So technically there's kind of like water in there also because it's not pure acid. So you have 50 liters right here. Here's your 50, it's in liters. So now we're allowed to add down. So what do you get adding down? Like a heart plus a square is a heart plus a square. So 50 plus X, 50 
plus x. And then go, and then you need to go across to get this guy here. 0.3 times 50, and all right, we can go ahead and throw in the yellow shaded number. If we read, it says here, water, acid, and this is the mix. That's your mix. The mix is, that's where you just throw it in. The mix is gonna be 20% acid. So I add straight down, I get 15. Now I could multiply across, but that's the same thing as like this. Like if I have a three here and I have an X here and I multiply across, what do I get over here? All right, and let's say we're like, all right, let's go ahead and solve for X. So three times X is three X equals three X divide by three, divide by three X equals X. You can't do that. You can't do that times that equals what those two things are. You have to get that answer from somewhere else and you get it from here going down. I can't say that this answer is 0.20 times 50 plus X. It is, but I can't put that in there and solve for it because I'm gonna end up with X equals X. So I need to get that answer a different way. I need to get the same value as this a different way. And the way you get it is by adding down this way. It's 15. So now you found that same answer a different way. So now you set it up you, you say, all right, well, my P times my A equals 15. All right, let's distribute. All right, so 10 plus 20x equals 15. Minus 10, minus 10. 0.20x equals 5. Divided by 0.20. Divided by 0.20. This is 5 divided by 0 0.20. We have to write this in opposite order. So 0 0.20 going in to 5. Okay, so then we go right here. We go point Because 5 is really the same thing as 5.0. Right? And then... Yep, you go, you gotta make that 0 0.20, like 20 going into 500. So 20 goes into 50 twice, that's 40, and that's one, zero, free drop down, zero. 20 goes into 100, how many times? 20 times five, that's zero, that's 10, 25. Yep, so you get your x equals 25. And make sure that's what you're looking for, and you kind of have it over here. X, x is the amount of water, boom. So x is 25, and then since it's volume, it's going to be leaders. And that's it.